Hey guys, welcome back to Berenses Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to find the whole number and percent problems. There are three different types of percent problems and in our previous video, we viewed the first type, which is finding the part. And so in this video, we're gonna be learning the second type of percent problem, which is finding the whole. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's say that we have the example, eight is 80% of what number? In order to solve this, the best way is to set up a proportion. So when you're setting up a proportion, you have two fractions that are equal to one another. The first fraction is going to be your percent. So in this case, we have 80%. We know that percent is out of 100. So 80% is the same thing as 80 out of 100 or 80 over 100. So we have our first fraction. So we know that 80 over 100 is equal to our second fraction, which is going to be is over of. In this case, it says 8 is 80% of what number? So it's already telling us that 8 is going to be the is, right? So that means it's going to be in the numerator. So it's is over of. So 8 is going to be our numerator over of. But in this case, we don't know what that number is. So we're trying to find the whole. We're solving for the whole number, right? So that we can represent this as a variable. So let's say we use the variable x. So now if we do cross multiplication, we should get 80 times x and 8 times 100. And the reason we're going to do cross multiplication is that so that we can find the value of x. So when we do this, we get 80x is equal to 800. In order to solve for the x, we're going to divide by 80 on both sides. And we get x is equal to 10. That means 8 is 80% of the number 10. And this is how you find the whole in a percent problem. You set up a proportion and do cross multiplication. All right, so this was our first example. Let's go ahead and view another example. This time, let's use larger numbers. So for example, let's say we have 25 is 16% of what number? So notice that in when you're finding the whole in a percent problem, the problem is going to be set up in the exact same way, except the numbers are going to be different. So 25% is 16% of what number? So once again, we're trying to find that number. So our first um, fraction in our proportion is going to be 16% or 16 over 100 equal to is over of. It says 25 is, so that will be our numerator, over of what number? So we can represent this as a variable of x. And once again, you, a variable is just a lowercase letter that's supposed to represent un, an unknown value in mathematics. So you can use any variable, but the most commonly used variable is x. So now go ahead and do cross multiplication, 16 times x and 25 times 100. You get 16x is equal to 2500. When you divide both sides by 16, you get x is equal to 2500 divided by 16. Now you could go ahead and use a calculator, but I'm just going to go ahead and do the entire division out, okay? So 2500 divided by 16 So 16 goes into 25 once and we're left with 9 bring down this 0 16 times 5 is 80, we're left with 10, bring down this 0, 16 times 6 is going to be 96, left with 4, now let's keep on going so that we can get a decimal number and we don't have a remainder left over, so we add a decimal point up in our quotient and add a 0, 16 times 2 is going to give us 32, left with an 8 and if we add another 0 over here we get 16 times 5 which is 80 and we are left with 0 that means we have no remainder and even though this does seem very long it's not that hard okay it's just long division 
That means 25 hundred divided by 16 is 156.25. That means x is equal to 156.25. So, going back to our problem, 25 is 16% of 156.25. So that means that number doesn't exactly need to be an exact whole number. It could be a decimal number. But um, this is what's really called the uh, second type of percent problem, which is finding the whole. All right, so that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching this video and stick around for the third part, which is the third type of percent problem. And we will see you guys next time. Bye.